baseball. And on the phone with us, we have uh, Hall of Fame pitcher Catfish Hunter. Catfish, good morning. Good morning. How you been? I've been doing fine. So you're up where? In North Carolina right now? Right. Well, you're up nice and early. You sound bright, bright-eyed, bright bushy-tailed and awake for so early in the morning. Yeah, I watched part of the game last night, the White Sox in uh, Seattle. Who do you root for these days? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I root for the Yankees and I root for the A's. Uh, and if I know somebody on a team, I'll root for them. Sure. So when opening day rolls around like it does, and you've been out of the game a few years, do you, you get the, uh, the urge just to go out there and pick up the ball and start tossing a little bit? Not way my shoulder feels I don't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so what exactly did you do to your shoulder? I don't know. I did. It, it, when I was with the Yankees, it locked up on me. They manipulated it, and it felt great for uh, about seven, eight years, and now it's going back the same way again. Really? So you, you threw many an inning with pain, no doubt, huh? Right. I guess a lot of major league pitchers do. Yeah, you always hear that. Well, mm -hmm. the main thing, you know, you, when you put a uniform on, you want to get somebody out. Sure, you have that competitive edge there. That's right. So uh, what about the uh, the great Yankee teams during the uh, the mid-70s? I've been a big Yankee fan, and I was wondering if you keep in touch with any of the former players. Do you see them during spring training, or do you attend any of those fantasy camp things or anything like that? Oh, yes. I uh, go to some of the fantasy camps. matter of fact, tomorrow I'll be in uh, New York with uh, Goose Gossage. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. The Goose. The Goose. What are you all going to be doing? Uh, I think we're going to be supposed to be at Macy's signing autographs. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> now, let's uh, tell everybody, not the Macy's here in West Palm Beach. Right. That's right. in New York. <laughs> he will not be here. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have to know, what team was it that where he wore the uh, yellow A's. and gold? Was, uh, yeah, Oakland A's. I'll tell you, that's when I just fell in love with you. Mm -hmm. I love that outfit. It was great looking. Well, you know, everybody kind of followed that trend after they said Mr. Finley was crazy. Everybody started getting uh, colorful uniforms, different colored shoes and everything. Plus, catfish always look cool in a baseball uniform. Very. You always had, like, you know, a little longish hair. He had the mustache going. You always right. look cool with uh, with the baseball uniform, Catfish. Right. That was the days that uh, the long-haired mustache gang, the Oakland A's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who was the <laughs> toughest batter you ever faced, or who gave you the most problems? I would say Tony Oliva was probably, with the Minnesota Twins, was the best hitter that I ever pitched. Really? Yep. You know, I saw an exhibition game many years ago. It was um, in Fort Lauderdale, Yankees versus Mets. And uh, I saw you on the hill, and uh, I saw Dave Kingman hit one of the longest home runs I've ever seen in my life off of you. It's still going. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is. As a matter of fact, I think they they, uh, they spotted up there at the Mir Space Station because that one took off. Do you remember that? I think it hit out on the runway of the airport on this, over the top of the second field. <laughs> <laughs> that was a shot. So uh, during those Yankee years, the great Yankee years, could you just, I'm going to mention a, a couple of names and just give me a sentence or so about each player. How about Billy Martin? Probably the smartest manager that I ever played for because he had his mind made up what he was going to do before it happened. And when, as soon as it happened, bam, he made the move. He was really a, a pitcher's manager, too, wasn't he? I mean, he, really, he seemed like he had confidence in the guys. He'd keep you in. He wouldn't just, uh, you didn't always have to keep looking over your shoulder at the bullpen. That's right. And what about Chris Shambliss? The snatcher. He was uh, a great first baseman, and, uh, you know, he... Nobody really gave him credit, but he hit when it, uh, you know, really meant something. He would come in with a, a good base hit, and uh, the home run that he hit to, to put us in the World Series. Right, against Kansas City. Right. That was a dramatic home run. And what about Thurman Munson, one of my all-time favorite ball players? Munson, everybody thought, you know, that he wasn't a good catcher, but he was a great catcher. He was like an infielder. When he caught the ball, no matter what position he was in, he could throw it like an infielder get rid of it quick and he would always get the man out yeah another good clutch player too Munson did right. you did you guys get along oh yes oh wow that's good to hear <laughs> you know because we've heard from other players and stuff that uh, he was a pain in the butt sometimes well, yeah well, some Munson, people if he didn't like you he wouldn't say anything to you aha <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> he'd let you know that's right so the people he liked knew they liked and the people he didn't like they knew he didn't like them because right. is there anybody you can tell us that he either played with or against that you just really couldn't stand not really. I think uh, I could get along with just about anybody out there on the field. If they uh, <clears throat> if they hustled, if they didn't hustle, I couldn't get along with them. Sure. <clears throat> All right, Catfish. Well, listen, uh, we appreciate you getting up this uh, this early in the morning and talking with us on his opening baseball day. I know. Well, so this is actually second day. Yeah, right. It started last, last night. night. But today's the big official day. All the pomp and circumstance happens right. today. Right. All right, Here Catfish. Be Been a big fan of yours for a long time, partner. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. All righty. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot. How do you like that? Jim Catfish Hunter on the Gator.
with Seabass and Gloria. And that really was him. Oh, yeah. It's not April Fool. Mm -mm, one of the greatest pitchers of all time right there. Jim Catfish Hunt. Take him. He fell to the...